Do not try this at home, guys. Mm, they are amazing. Oh my god, they spilled this everywhere. I literally have hand freeze right now. Oh my god. Lettuce. Oh my god. Oh, oh that makes one go. Mm. Oh my god, the aftertaste is grim. Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button, and please like this video as well. Hello, everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a slightly different video for my channel, basically, going to be a food challenge. What I've decided to do, oh, wait for it. Oh, I only eat food in alphabetical order for 24 hours. This video will be quite challenging for me because, like, I am a little bit I'm a fussy eater and I won't be able to like find foods that I can eat for every letter so I could be trying new foods in this video so you'll be able to like enjoy this video so what this challenge is is basically you eat food in alphabetical order for 24 hours so for like example A for apple, B for banana, um, C for chicken like it just goes on like that so this is going to be very challenging for me like I'll give it a go so yes but um, before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel because if you watch you want to hit 3,000 um, subscribe by the end of June, so please keep subscribing to my channel because it's me in the world. But yeah, but um, without further ado, let's go with the video. So guys, for breakfast, um, like I usually have like a bagel for breakfast, but this morning I'm actually going to have a apple because A for apple and also B for bagel. So it works out pretty um fine to be honest, plus I'm able to have some apple juice because um. Here for apples, so perfect. My apple. Fun fact, I have not had an apple in about three years. Just because it's like I couldn't uh, meet these with my braces. And now like I have a retainer. And um, like I can't um, really eat them. But um, like I'll just have to cut this apple up, you know. Then we have some bagels as well. So. Got my Warburton's um, bagel things. These are so nice. So these will go um, like in the toast with like a few minutes. So I'll take you um, along with me. Hi everyone. This is going to go in the toaster, you know, as so. I'll put them on number three and there we go. So now like it's time for apple juice because I am um, really need a drink this morning because I've literally woken up and need a drink. So got my apple juice here place you back on here guys because it's best it's just the best um place to put you apple juice i have not actually had apple juice in ages this will be nice for like a little change guys so it's gonna keep pouring this in and let's hope i won't spill this there we go i've also just realized that butter starts with b as well so that's perfect for breakfast i can have butter on my bagel so yeah, fun. Well, taste test. Oh, that is so nice, honestly. Oh, that is amazing. Well, I should have apple juice more often than I'm on, to be honest, because like, it's really nice and refreshing, actually. Bagels are all ready now, so I can need to get um, like a little plate to put it on, obviously. There we go. Do you want my butter? Beef or butter? I'm going to need to take these bagels out now. These are going to burn my hands. Oh, ow, ow. Another one. Ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. Oh, they are absolutely burning. Wow, okay. Time to butter these bad boys. They were so hot. Oh my god. Right. Time to butter the bagel. Bagel. Oh no. Bagels are really awkward to butter, guys. Don't think. Like, they're super awkward and I don't like it. But yeah, there are my two bagels. All nice and buttered. So now we're just going to put these together. Right, where's the bottom on the top? There we go. Oh, this board is tiny. It's so cute though. So for the apple, we'll need like a little chopping board. Um, apple, obviously. Peeler and a knife. And what I'll do is basically peel the apple like a normal person would. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect peeling. Uh, okay. This is really... Um, apples are really... Awkward to peel actually because they're round and they're a bit awkward. It's time to cut out the core of the apple, which I'll try to do myself safely, hopefully. Right, it does kind of go down, then down again. Do not try this at home, guys. Do not. Right, let's hope that'll be okay. Go down again. 
right and then down and let's hope that's cut we should be able to cut that out okay maybe not oh my god oh my god that was so scary do not try this at home guys so hard why won't you go out i just want to push you out oh there we go it's gonna work oh my god that actually worked oh my god perfect oh my god we have a perfect apple so now like i'm just gonna cut it up into bits i'm just gonna cut it up like that i'm just gonna go call me chef alice guys now oh my god these actually look real nice mm, taste test mm, oh my god wow call me a chef <laughs> so I'm gonna go and enjoy my breakfast. <laughs> oh my god, the dice piled on, but it's great. Can't wait to eat this. I'm so hungry. So my breakfast is now done. Um like it was really nice actually. Like it wasn't my favourite breakfast ever, but um like I'm not um, really like a breakfast person really, but like I'm still drinking my apple juice. Comment um down below what types of food you would eat if you'd done this challenge. So I'd like to know. But um but um, now, like, I'm gonna go up and do my makeup. I am feeling really hungry and thirsty actually now. The time is currently 12 o'clock, so I might put the oven on soon because I'm really hungry. Um, so yeah, but I have decided for lunchtime that I'm gonna have chicken nuggets and chips because the next letter in the alphabet is actually C. So C for chicken nuggets and chips fits perfectly obviously chicken nuggets and chips are perfect for lunch you know what i mean fingers crossed we have to have um, pepsi in here oh yes we do coca-cola kind of a well, fella like it does say pepsi cola um pepsi max is basically like cola isn't it so that kind of counts oh my god pepsi max um is my favorite drink guys i love it also my highlight is really popping today Oh my god, really feeling the highlight, but yes. I'll also put the oven on as well. For my um, chicken and chips. See, see? So, there we go. Oh, my favourite drink in the world. Coca-Cola. Coca-Cola. Right. There we go. This was... Oh, that smells beautiful. Oh my god, can't wait to have this. I'm gonna pour that all in. Can't wait to have this. This looks like heaven right now. Is there anything left in there? No. There we go. This drink is a dream right now. Honestly, I love it so much. While the oven is on, I'm like, I'm gonna uh, um, put um, my food on the tray. So we have some chicken nuggets and chips. Um, so me, I'm a little sister of body. Um, like, like both of them be having this for lunch. Chicken nuggets, oh my god. These look like heaven. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna stick them there. These nuggets are from Lidl, in case anyone is wondering. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Chicken nuggets all on the little thing. Now it's time for chips. I do love a good little chip every now and then. I'm gonna pour these on here. Oh, okay, that'll probably be enough. Oh my god, there's literally tons of chips in here. That is a lot of chips though, but it's fine. It's fine. It's okay. So there we go, guys. Can you see? Food's on there. There. Love that. Now we're just wait the waiting game now. So, like, I'll catch you up after the visa in the oven. The oven is now ready to put the food in. So, here we go. I can't wait now. There we go. Chicken nuggets and chips are unreal, love them so much. I'm gonna put these in the oven. It's now time to take my lunch out, honestly. Um, I can't wait to have chicken nuggets and chips because I love them so much. So, I'm gonna take these out because they look very nice. Oh, God, it's nice and cooked. There we go. Okay, so what I need, I'll have to move you over actually. Right. I'm going to move you over here. Let's hope it stays. Right, yeah, well. Plate, obviously, and we'll need the chicken nuggets because chicken nuggets are like my family. 
Um, who else has seen that uh, meme on uh, TikTok and stuff? Because I have, obviously. So some nuggets, get two more out. There are my chicken nuggets, can you see that? Delicious, I'm now excited to get the chips. Oh, do love chips, guys. Oh, just falling over. I love tomato ketchup, but um, ketchup um, starts with K. But ketchup is also a dip. So I can use um, ketchup as my D word because it is a dip. So that is pretty cool to be honest. But um, yes, there we go. And now my sister's food as well, which I'll plate up. Here is my lunch and I'm going to have my lovely dip. Ketchup dip. D for dip. I'm not this one handed. So it probably won't work, but D for dip. Love it. Right. Ketchup dip. Go. Wow. Mm. I'm going to enjoy my lunch now. So, yeah. <laughs> lunch now and um, my lunch was amazing and now like it's time for my next um, food so like I've had A for apple, B for bagel, C for chicken and um, D for dip and for E I have Easter eggs because because these smarty eggs are part of like the Easter range enjoy these Easter eggs because they look really nice and um, so yeah mm. smarty eggs are amazing as well you know I can use up I'll just show you. Orange um, Smarties are the best ones. They are amazing. Mmm, look at them. Mmm, they are amazing. Hi, I'm still eating my Smarty eggs and I'm actually watching Mark Ferris on YouTube. But this video that I'm filming is actually inspired by uh, Mark's um, videos. Please go and watch his as well. But these are amazing and I am really enjoying these right now so yeah right, I'm back in the kitchen now guys so them stairs kill me off every time I literally go down them wait a minute oh I need a breather but um like I was thinking what foods could I eat with F and the only ones um, that I could think of is fish I don't um, really fancy fish right now because I like half had my lunch please excuse the noise of the washing machine it's going really loud it's going it's annoying I know I was Oh my god, that, the washing machine is gonna be the biggest pain. Thinking of what um, like other foods I could um, eat that start with F, and I couldn't um, think of any. So, what I'm gonna have instead is basically fruit juice, because Finto um, is fruit juice basically. So, that is what I'm gonna have right now because. Um, oh my god, this is really wet actually. I can't really lean you on there. I can lean you on here. I can't really lean you anywhere, guys. Because I do drink a lot of Vimto. And Vimto, um, it's actually made with um, raspberries, blackcurrants, uh, and grapes. So, I'm going to have this. And speaking of grapes, for the letter G, I'm actually going to have some grapes as well because grapes are so nice. So, that's what I'm going to have. So, I'm going to make the Vimto first. Oh my god, they spilled this everywhere. Oh my god, just spilled this. Mm, that is nice. And um, so now, like, it's time for the grapes. So, I am usually more of like a purple grape person. So, uh, let's see what flavours we have if we even have any grapes. I hope we do. Oh, yes, we do. Purple grapes, my favourite. They are so nice. Are you guys more of a purple grape person or a green grape person? Because personally, Purple grapes are my favourite, so all you need to do is put them in a sieve and wash them because washing your fruit and veg is really important before eating them. So while I am drinking my fruit juice and eating my grapes, I am going to be doing some college work because I have been doing in loads like over this lockdown period. So that is what I'm going to do while I do my college work. So yeah, these grapes are um, unreal as well guys, by the way, they are amazing. I have done all my college work for today so now letter in the alphabet is actually h but i don't think um, that there will be any foods that i can eat and start with h because we don't have any ham in the house we don't have like any hummus in the house or like any food start with h i don't think like we don't like even have like any hazelnut bread or anything so i will have to move on to the next letter which is i and we do actually have some um ice lollies in the freezer 
so I guess what I'm gonna have an ice lolly because because even though it is cold outside ice lollies are still refreshing so that is what i'm gonna have because this challenge can be quite um hard actually please excuse the noisy tumble dryer but um like i have the option of either having a watermelon lolly i hate watermelon flavors things watermelon is awful and um, more this ice pop so we'll have this ice pop because i hate watermelon flavored things so yeah, this is really hard to eat. Don't know why, but this stuff is like frozen. Like this is proper frozen solid, guys. Like it's honestly. Oh my god, what the hell? So I put um, my ice pop in this little mixer thing. Like I've also put some cherry syrup in there. Some zero sugar one. I have just had like a little taste of it and it tastes really nice. I will put some more ice in it. There won't be like any alcohol in it, guys. I'm sorry about that. Well, I've got this mice. Ice cubes. And then probably some of these as well, maybe. Um, so, either margarita, um, Mai Tai, or Mojito. Um, we'll have a look at. Maybe the Mai Tai one actually, because I think it smells quite nice. I am basically making like a non alcoholic cocktail here, guys. I'll just smell this one, but I have used this one. Have I? Yeah. Mmm. We we'll use this one as well, because this one kind of smells nice. Put some of that in there. And then we'll be able to shake it and like hopefully yeah, it will look okay. There's like all the product in there. And then we'll get a uh, mixing guys. Maybe I'll have some lemonade in here, shall I? Yeah, I'm add some lemonade in here. It won't be a minute. I am really mixing this up today, guys, honestly. <laughs> right, a um, tiny bit of lemonade in here. And then put this. Should be ready to go. Hold it tight. Oh my god, this might go everywhere. <gasps> this is dripping everywhere. Oh my god, my hands are freezing. It says you're gonna explode everywhere. Sugar. Oh my god, this is so cold, guys. Oh no, oh no, this is exploding everywhere. Oh my god, my hands are freezing. I literally have hand freeze right now. <sighs> oh my god. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. Okay, this can be my juice cocktail. There we go guys, this is my juice cocktail. So for J, juice cocktail. Smart thinking there guys. Right, let's keep shaking this until the ice is all melted. Hopefully it won't take too long. So here is my um, juice cocktail. I do have like a little martini cocktail glass. Um, let's hope that this is okay. Right, oh it smells really nice actually. We'll have a look and see what it looks like. Shall we? Oh, oh, that colour is beautiful. Okay, let's have a little taste test. Oh my god, that actually tastes really nice. Mmm. Oh my god, like if this had some vodka in it, this would be perfect right now. My arms are aching after that though, guys. My arms are killing me. If Spoons sold this drink, I would buy this drink because it is a 10 out of 10, literally. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself for making my juice cocktail. That is amazing, guys. Guys, 4L. Lettuce. So I had to miss um, K out just because like there's no food really with K, so like, I decided to go for L. And I'm not um, really like a fan of lettuce, but like I will try it for the video, like only like a little bit, obviously, because I'm not. I'm really like a fan of lettuce and stuff like that and I have to eat it all as well. I will wash this by the way, just be a minute. Oof, I'm really not feeling this guys. It's all soggy guys. Like the only time that like I will ever eat lettuce is basically like in a burger but I'm um, usually like I take it out anyway. Oh no, this is, this is gonna be grim. Uh, that is like eating leaves. Who eats this like in a salad? Like, uh, this is tastes of, like a garden. Oh my god. Oh, oh that makes one go. Mm. Mm, I got to eat all of this. Uh, don't like this, guys. So, like, I suppose uh, maybe with like a salad dressing, that like, could taste uh, nicer with like some. Um, 
um, protein with it or like other vegetables but on its own it's grim the taste of lettuce basically like reminds me of when like you go in your garden and pick some leaves up and basically eat them that is not a nice taste at all but i've tried it that is all that matters try your food that you do not like Oh my god, the aftertaste is grim. Now that I am finally over the disgustingness of the lettuce, my next letter will be M. L. Yeah, M. So, what I'm gonna have to treat myself, because, you know, that lettuce was grim. I'm gonna have my final Maltese bunny. Honestly, the Maltesers are great, and I'm so happy that um, Maltesers start with an M, because. This is bliss right now, honestly. Maltesers are amazing and so nice. So I'm going to go and enjoy my final bunny before I have my tea. I'm so happy about this, honestly. I am re really, really, really happy about this. Hello, everybody, again, like it is a little bit later now. The next letter is N, but... Oh my God, what am I saying? My brain has just gone to mush today. Um, But... Um, we don't really have like any food that start with N, but for drinks, the next um, letter is O. So I'm going to have some orange juice because that drink is amazing. So that is what I'm going to have, guys. Some fresh orange juice to keep me going. I am happy about this drink, so I am going to go and enjoy this drink because it's amazing. Mm. Oh, that is a solid 10 out of 10. Um, so there's 26 letters in the alphabet and so far i have got two o and i've now missed three letters out of the alphabet so a b c d e f g and then i missed h out and then i've got i a b c d e f g h i and then you've got j i missed out k then l m and then o so 11 out of 14 is pretty good so far guys. Next letter in the alphabet after O is P. And for my tea, I'm actually having a pie, but um, like the cottage pie, but cottage pie does have pie in its name. So basically I can call it a pie because it does have pie in it. P for pie guys. Cottage pie with veg. How amazing does this look? A 10 out of 10, can't take this. I am now back upstairs now guys and the pie was amazing, so nice, tasted um, unreal but um, now I'm like, be having some raspberries because ah for raspberries. I will be ending this um, challenge here so I have managed to eat, wait a minute, A, B, C, D, E, G, I, H, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, oh my god I can't do the alphabet these days a b c d e f g h i j k l m o p r i have managed to do um half of the alphabet today which i think is pretty cool going to be honest guys because this challenge is actually harder than it um, looks you know guys but um but anyway guys i'm going to end this video here so i really hope that you guys have enjoyed if you did make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and please also subscribe to my channel because i want to hit 3000 subs by the end of june so we are actually 240 subs away from 3000 so please keep subscribing because we will be able to get there so yeah i really hope that you guys have enjoyed and i will see you all in my next video bye guys